hello everyone you are welcome to my channel in today's video we'll be learning how to cut a kimaru this is how the kimaru looks like if you are new to my channel you are welcome and if you are an existing subscriber thank you so much for coming back i always appreciate you guys if you know you haven't clicked on the subscribe button please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and share my videos thank you so for this tutorial these are the materials i will be making use of i made use of two and a half yards of bill chiffon fabric the name of the material is bill chiffon and i'm making use of 2.5 yards so what i will do right now is to fold my fabric into four the whole of the yards into four folds you can see I have folded it into four you can see so that is I want to cut the front and the back the same time at once so now I have my length already which is 44 inches that is the back measurement I'll put the measurements on the screen so you can see so the first thing to do now is to impute the head circumference the head circumference is five inches that is on the folded parts Five inch that is our s circumference divide by four whatever it gives you we are going to impute it then the next thing we are going to do is to measure the side measurement my side measurement is 23 inches so you place your tape where the s circumference stops diagonally you can see how i placed my tape then we use a ruler to rule a straight line to where the side length measurement stopped i'm using free hand here because my material is a little bit stretchy So after that, from the point where the side measurement stop, we are going to rule a line diagonally to where the length of the kimaru is stopping. So that is the line. So after that, we will cut out. Remember, we are cutting the front and the back at once. But this is the back we are cutting right now. So after cutting out the back, we will remove the back piece and cut out the front. And remember the front and the back piece the only difference there is just the length so you can see how it looks like so for the down part i decided to make it round like i didn't do the normal triangular shape that we all know so i'll remove the back piece or any piece at all i remove one of the piece the one i remove will serve as my back piece then this one i'm arranging right here will serve as my front piece so after arranging very well let's work on the front piece remember i said the front and the back piece the only difference is just the length so the difference here in mine is eight inches i have a video on how to take accurate measurements for a jilbab or a kimar i'll put the link in the description box make sure you watch it so you understand properly what i'm doing here I have shaped out the front length and this is how it is. It is a circular shaped kimar or will I say round shaped kimar. <laughs> so still working on the front. From the edge right there, I'll come down by 1.5 inches. This is to reduce any bulge around the neck area. So I'll connect the point back to the edge circumference and just cut it out. You can see, you can see how it looks like. So the next thing for us to do now is to cut out the cap. So I folded my fabric into two and I'll fold it over again. That is into four. This fabric I have right here is not going to be enough. I'm going to join later. So we we'll measure the height of the cap. I have four inches, four and a half inches. After joining, it's going to be remaining four inch. So I just cut it out straight. You can see I still have my four inch. So from the other side, I'll measure 2.5 inches. I'll go up by 2.5 inches. Then at this point, I'll measure my face circumference. I have 6 inches there because I want the cap to come down a little bit after the side joining. So I'll just go to cut out. So you can see, I remember I said I'm still going to join. That is the one I can use to tie at the back of my head. You can see so i'll go ahead to join and i'll show you how it looks like you can see this is it after joining so this is it after joining this is how the cap looks like so let's go over to the sewing machine the first thing to do is to join the sides of the kimaru together so you place your front piece and your back piece right side facing right side 
then you're going to stitch the sides using half of an inch so here i just notch my piece each of the piece so i can locate the center of each so let's join i used pin to hold mine because my material is a little bit stretchy because the joining must meet at the top and at the down to avoid one longer than one if your material is also stretchy make sure you use pin and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing if you enjoy my videos subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and always share my videos to your friends thank you so i have joined both sides and i've gone ahead to iron them as well you can see how neat it is please always iron your work while sewing you can see so the next thing to do now is to fix the hijab cap. So we'll turn it over right side facing right side because we are going to sew on the wrong side and turn it over. So starting from the edge right there, I'll sew with half of an inch stopping at that point where the curve stopped. So after sewing the hijab cap, I went ahead to iron it. So you can see the hijab cap, I have already ironed it. So I'll turn it over again. You can see that I sewed half inch before the end point. And I'm just going to give it a little notch. So I can, I can be able to fix it to my kimar. You can see. So I'll turn it over and show you how it looks like. So after notching, this is how it's going to look like. You can see. I'll repeat the same thing for the other side as well. This is the other side. So now I'll bring in the kimar and I'll fix the cap to the kimar using half of an inch. And after joining the cap to the kimar, this is how it looks like and we are almost done with this tutorial. This is it. So the next thing we are going to do now is to end it down of the kimar you can see so i'll just go ahead and aim it all around just aim it a little bit i actually almost forgot this part like the front piece you can see we are supposed to aim it but it's not too late so i'm just going to aim it a little bit you can see the front piece that i'm talking about this is it and after aiming it, we are done with the tutorial. And this is how the hijab or kimar looks like. It can be tied on the outside part and it can be tied inside as well. This is it on the outside part. This is how it looks like. Mashallah. Thank you for watching till the end. If you find this video helpful, consider clicking on the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. See you next time. Bye.